Hey everybody, um, just checking in here. I haven't made a video in a little while, so I thought I'd give everybody a quick update uh, as to what's going on. And I'm just testing out my uh, iPhone 5. Just got it this uh, month for some video recording, see how well it does. It seems to be alright. Um, so I think I'm going to wait till uh, after the holidays to uh, start playing Burma. Just going to have a bunch of people around, going to try and trick some of my family into playing some other board games with me. So. I don't want to have uh, Burma sitting on my table, um, taking up space, and my cats come to join me. Um, so, yeah, I want some table space just in case I can convince someone to play something with me, because I really don't get the opportunity very often. So, um, I do have Burma here with me, so we'll take a look at this kind of in a second. Um, kind of like uh, see people's opinions as to what they want me to cover. I'd like to go in a little more detailed with the introduction and uh, stuff like that and um, yeah so let's take a quick look and I'll show off comp some components maybe and uh, there we go alright so here we have Burma um, I really can't wait to start uh, it's gonna be a blast um, well I hope so um, it's been a lot of fun in the past I mean um, there's so much going on in this game uh, basically like three different uh, campaigns actually. Uh, they're all fairly small and self-contained but uh, they do kind of interact with each other. Um, it'd be interesting to play through an entire thing as well. So I think I've only made it a month or two into the game uh, in my previous plays. So um, Counters are all ready to go so nothing holding me back to start once I do end up getting into it. Um, there's a lot of interesting little things in this game especially supply wise and stuff. We've got your your usual trucks and uh, and wagons and stuff like that, but then you also have uh, mules, um, which can carry supply as well. Um, and on top of that, you've got things uh, like water buffalo here, which the Japanese can use at the start of the game. Um, replace, I think it's some supply points. They use these instead of supply points, or is it mules? I can't remember. No, for supply points, and then these can move with the troops, and these can be used to eat off the map. Um, I think I will do that. I haven't used these in the past, but uh, be useful. Because uh, trying to move supply up with just your trucks and your, your mules can be a little bit uh, troublesome, so I think I'll use some of those. There's elephants in this as well, which are the same as the, uh, um, the mules. They are uh, just not um, capturable. Um, if these are captured by the enemy, they're killed. Um, so just a little bit of flavor to the game, I guess. And my cat is coming to ruin the video. Hello, Gunter. You can go away now, please. Thank you. Um, so rule book here. There's a, a lot of special rules for Burma. Nothing too difficult. Um, yeah, really. There's the mules and elephants. Uh, there's a lot of different weather in the, in the game. It has a bit of an effect on it. Um, foraging rules. The Japanese um, can pretty much negate the need for trace supply a lot of the time. Um, so, uh, yeah. Alright. Um, I mean, I guess that's really it. Um, brief introduction, I guess. Um, now, there is something I'm considering using. Um, you can see here these um, Chinese uh, Yunnan forces. There is, um, on the Gamers Archive, uh, a map download and uh, some rules for a Yunnan add-on scenario, which can be added to the campaign game. I have no idea about it, so maybe anybody who's played with it can tell me about it, whether I should include it in my game. Um, basically, you just print the maps off and add it to the edge of your map. It'll introduce these forces. Otherwise, they're not used at all. Um, don't know if it's interesting or not, so um, you know, let me know what you think if I should go with that or not. Um, I love this map. She's a beauty, that's for sure. Some people may disagree with me, but I just think it's wonderful. It's all set up and out. The mountain ranges just look great. Um, I don't know. I really want to get started on this, so Christmas can get out of the way anytime. That's all good with me, so. Uh, what else, what else, what else? So yeah, um, like I said, I want to go in-depth with this. Um, 
so if anybody has anything they want me to cover, um, please let me know. Um, I think we'll kind of cover, you know, where each side's uh, supply comes from, what kind of supply um, they've got to look at, how the Japanese um, foraging rules work, um, just the difficulty of tracing supply in this kind of terrain uh, for the Allied forces. Um, just cover stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, if anybody has anything to add on to that, please let me know. I've got a little time to plan it out here, so I can at least be doing something while I'm not playing the game. Um, but I guess that's it. So, all right. So, hope everybody has a good holiday, and uh, we'll check back in hopefully before the new year, but uh, new year at the latest. So, all right. Thanks, everybody.